They travel the country calling for a better America, a return to Judeo-Christian principles, and economic plans for a deficit-free future. Meet the Evangelicals, conservative Christians who are part of the Tea Party, or at least agree with their agenda. They come in all shapes and sizes, from the farm, town square, and even Capitol Hill. Well, I absolutely am, because I believe that we are taxed enough already. Government shouldn't spend more money than what it takes in. We should follow the Constitution. And I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, so I think that makes me a evangelical. Some have great stories to tell. Kellen Guida went from a non-believing Tea Party leader in New York to a born-again Christian after hearing about Jesus from other Tea Party members during a political retreat. It was loud, boisterous, praying and uh, talking about our faith uh, all the time. And it was a new experience for me, and it was an overwhelming experience for me, and I just loved it. The new book, The Tea Evangelicals, the inside story of how the evangelicals and the Tea Party are taking back America, reveals that without evangelicals, there might not be much of a Tea Party movement in the first place. Studies show that conservative Christians compromise at least half, if not more, of the party. So why have they signed up? I really think the, the, a lot of the motivation behind these Tea Party crowds is, is a spiritual component. I think it's very akin to the Great Awakening before the American Revolution. People are seeing this massive government growing and they're realizing that it's the government that's hurting us. And I think they're turning back uh, to God in effect is, is, our, is our salvation and government is not our salvation.